Working. While well, I'm twerking. And you're recording. You're two feet away from greatness. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> that was an epic fail. It was. <laughs> Slipped right off. Uh, hit the producer. What if I hit the camera? Would it look cool? Hope that looked cool. <sighs> Fucking hope so. I hope it was worth it. I know. It was like, I always had that rubber band. What's going on everybody? For this video, we're kind of aiming towards those first time gun buyers and first time owners, the people who are looking for their very first firearm. We wanted to give you guys five key points to look for when you're picking your perfect weapon. But before we go ahead and get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. Us here at GW Tactical are growing every day and I need you guys to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and share with all your friends. Let's go ahead and get into these points. So our first point is going to be don't overspend. Don't go trying to get the biggest and baddest gun. Don't have a buddy of yours tell you, hey man, you should drop $1,200, $1,400 on this weapon and this is going to be it. Guys, you got to realize a couple things here. If something, God forbid, were to happen, one, you're going to lose that firearm. That firearm will not be in your possession. Don't spend all your money on one gun. Especially for not for your first one. You know, just to give an example, my first firearm was a much lower grade firearm, but as I progressed, I did go ahead and purchase a thousand dollar pistol that I would carry every day. That is not saying that the first time that you're going to carry that you should have something like this on your person. Yeah, guys, it's you, you want to be friendly to your wallet, but you also want to you also want to keep that in mind. And not even just losing your gun if something were to happen, just losing your gun in general. If you dropped your whole wallet on that, your whole paycheck on that weapon, and then you, God forbid, lost it, it's gone. Gone forever. Where is it at? Second point is going to be to think about the comfort level for your firearm. Guys, we can really, for comfort, we can honestly, we're going to break this down in two categories for you guys because it's so much that goes into this when it comes to comfort. So first, it's comfort with training, comfort with the actual firearm itself. Guys, when you're picking out your first firearm, you're gonna be grabbing all kinds of different guns. You're gonna feel a couple of guns, you're gonna be like, whoa, that feels really nice. Those are the ones that you wanna kinda aim towards. Those are the ones you might have a better time with. But at the end of the day, you guys need to train with those. If you're at a gun range and you find something you're into, ask how much the rental is. Get a rental with that weapon, try it out. You need to see how these guns perform, not just by holding it, you need to see how they are in action. Because you never know what kind of grip is going to be on your weapon. It may slip out of your hand as soon as you fire it. There may be something about the gun that you just don't fully grab your hand around it. And it's one of those things that, you know, if you don't get it on the range and you don't test it out, it could be detrimental if the situation was to arise. And that brings us to our next point. We want to talk about the comfortability of when you're actually carrying, guys. When you're looking for your first gun, you need to be mindful of what you're actually going to be wearing on an everyday basis. Are you going to have something big and bulky where you're going to have to wear double the size clothes just to be comfortable and make sure everything's hidden? Or are you going to go with something with a little smaller profile that you can actually tuck in, maybe even wear gym shorts and just kind of hide in your pocket, you know? These are things you have to keep in mind when you're picking these weapons. And that even goes into the grip as well, that you know, with a grip like this right here, it's super rough on the skin. It's not something that even I now want to carry at all times on my person, but it's great in the hand. It's something that I love to shoot. But being a first time concealed carry weapon carrier, you're gonna want something that's not going to irritate you, not something that's gonna make you hate carrying altogether. It's one of those things that you really have to think about, even you know how it feels in your hand and how it's going to feel on the skin. Because it may feel great on your hand, you may have you know rougher hands, but you gotta think of how sensitive the skin is mm -hmm. on your sides and around your hips and everything. Especially sweating, man. We're bigger guys and like we sweat. So when you get some sweat and that handle and it start rubbing, dude, that friction is not good. It's not enjoyable, I promise. And one of the probably biggest points that we have on this entire list right now is go easy on the caliber that you're going to get. Don't get something that is going to be, you know, too overpowered for you, but also think about the abundancy of being able to actually buy that said caliber. Guys, you want to find something that's easy, accessible, any gun range you go to, like 9mm. Let's be real, 9mm is one of the most popular. Guys, you're gonna find 9mm just about anywhere you go. I mean, we're not in an ammo shortage anymore, thank God. 
But you know, Knock that's on wood. it's very something something that's very simple to find, and it's there. It's there when you need it at most. Well, and even if you wanted to, you know, at some point dabble into something bigger, there's always ways to like you said, go to the range and, you know, rent a weapon and test mm -hmm. out something that's a higher caliber that you may want to dabble in at some point. But again, really understand the caliber and going back to even training again, training with that caliber and understanding the kick of that caliber and how much power is actually behind it is something you really have to understand before you jump into a weapon. And this is gonna bring us to our last key point is do your own research guys if you find a gun that you like that you're enjoying do more research on it i mean you guys have already taken the first step if you're watching this video you made it this far you're on the right path you're already doing your research great for you but continue to do your research on every firearm that you look for because you might learn so many things you might learn that a gun that you heard about is great or you think is great and then it might be flawed or it could be the other way around you've heard bad things but you find great quality in these guns so you just got to do that research it's so important Research is probably probably the second biggest thing on here because besides training, which would be additional research, researching these weapons and understanding the, the grips that are on them and then getting them in your hands, do your forehand research, understand how these guns are the way they are, who makes them, where you can get spare parts if you need them, understand everything about these weapons before you go ahead and make that big purchase. Yep, guys, don't listen to your buddies saying you have to go with this gun. Get this gun. At the end of the day, it's every man for himself on that front. You, everyone has their own personal preference. This is our opinions. You know, take this with a grain of salt. Just take this advice when you go out there and you're trying to find that weapon. We want you to pick the right gun for you. Well, if you guys enjoyed the content, we have plenty of other content going up on all of our social media accounts. We have an Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We got all kinds of stuff going out there. And in the meantime, if you want to go ahead and support the channel, go ahead and check out all the affiliates that we have in the description below. We really appreciate it. There's lots of cool stuff on there. There's gun deals. There's legal heat to go ahead and get your concealed carry class set up. And always remember, guys, who's got your six?